what is the deal with old superheroes? Do you ever wonder about that? I mean, do they go to the old superhero's home? I mean, what is the deal with that? How does a superhero retire? What if the hotline rings? Hello? Yes, the world's about to be destroyed? Sorry, I just turned 65. I mean, what is the deal with that? And, 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 and if you have x-ray vision, what happens to your eyes if they start to go bad? Can you only see through really thin stuff? I mean, what is the deal with that? Hello? Is this on? I said, what is the deal with that? You're supposed to find that hilarious! Laugh or perish, fiendish audience! The soil he did crawl. Earthworm Jim. A super suit did fall. Jim was just a dirt eating, chewing length of worm flesh, but all that came to a crash again. Earthworm <laughs> Jim. He's such a groovy guy. Earthworm Jim. He rockets through the sky, cruising through the universe, having lots of fun. Here comes Earthworm Jim, you know that he's a mighty one. <laughs> Despite his great big muscles and his really big ray gun, Jim is still an earthworm, but then he's the only one with a super suit to make him really super strong. Jim can be a winner if we only sing along. Right. Earthworm Jim, we think he's mighty fine. Earthworm Jim, a hero for all time. Earthworm, 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 earthworm Jim. Hooray for Jim! Groovy. Our story begins on the dreaded planet Insectica, as Psycho is brought before the fiendish queen, pulsating, bloated, festering, sweaty, pus-filled, malformed slug for a butt. Ah, <laughs> you're not still mad about me and the professor deposing you and assuming the throne, are you, Queenie? <laughs> That's all in the past, isn't it, Ethel? Let, let bygones be bygones. That's what I always say. Yes, Psycho, I will forgive you for your transgression on one condition, that you bring me Earthworm Jim's super suit. Oh, sure, sure. And, uh, what if I, you know, fail or whatnot? In that case, I'll hunt you down and chop you into bits so small you can shove them through a screen door! Ah! <laughs> screen door? Go on! Is that perfectly clear, Psycho? Oh, yes, yes, oh, Queen Queen! <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go change my shorts. Meanwhile, at the Galactic Heroes League, a banquet is being held in honor of the very first superhero, the Puce Dynamo! Everyone who's anyone in the glamorous world of superheroing is there, including... Santor, master of the flying toupee, whooping cough boy, Mr. Forehead Vane, a shadow, the human whoopee cushion, the space crickets, the sword of righteousness, the amazing cosmic weasel, Johnny Dactyl, turns his eyelids inside out, boy, the hamsternator, and of course, Peter Puppy and Earthworm Jim. Good going, narrator guy. You the man, man, you the man. The torch singer is gonna do a little song for the puce dynamo. This should be good. Who's the torch singer? She's a new superhero. She's got the power to burst into flames when she sings. Cool. She can blast evildoers with fireballs. Not exactly. This song is dedicated to the original superhero, the man who started it all, the Puce Dynamo. Who Someone give me a fire extinguisher. Come on, come on, come on! Well, it's not much of a power, but she's better than lower back pain, man. Uh, I'll be okay in a minute. I have to go give the Puce Dynamo his award. Be right back. Mm. Mm, this dinner is great. We are here to honor the first superhero. The first man to say, hey, why don't I put on something silly and fight evil? That'd be nifty. The man who inspired us all. The man without whom we would have no purpose. The man whose name burns eternally in our hearts and minds. I'm speaking, of course, of... Uh... uh... The Puce Dynamo! Pucey, 
come on up and accept your honorary Soupy Award for Lifetime Achievement. Gee, you got old. Brilliant deduction. Give me that. 60 years of fighting evil, and you flatheads give me a hunk of tin with gold paint on it? I invented super, I invented hero, I invented capes and masks and powers and secret hideouts and saving the day at the last second, and this is the thanks I get? Look at you with your shiny eyeballs and ready-made costumes. In my day, we had to sew our own costumes. I invented sewing. You guys are sore. You're nothing but a bunch of young punks and pipes. By the great worm spirit whose sacred breath could sour milk, he is right. Look at us, the Galactic Heroes League, ha! We don't deserve to call ourselves heroes. It's time to quit playing poker and having bake sales and fight some evil for a change. What do you say, heroes? Are you with me? Yes! 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 yes. Uh, is there actually any evil around here right now? Sure, sure, just wait a minute. Some evil's bound to turn up. And when it does, we'll fight it. While Jim and the rest wait for some evil to fight, Psycho tries desperately to think of a way to get the awesome power he needs to defeat Jim and save his own pitiful feathered hide. Got to come up with an idea. Coffee boy, another espresso. No, make that a double. No, 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 a triple. No, 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 no. And a couple espresso! <laughs> but it ain't never been tried. It's certain do, probably. I'll take my chances. Just do it. Some power of the espresso works on Psycho in a mysterious way. Soon he is thrust to a new level of wired, becoming Hyper Psycho! With phenomenal speed, fantastic vibratory powers, and extreme jumpiness! The enemy! What was that? What, 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 what? They're all out to get me! With these incredible powers, Psycho declares. Nah. I'm dipped, 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 dipped. My face is doom, 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 doom. <laughs> Do I seem okay to you? Not even remotely. Yeah. Well, yeah. Before we continue today's mind-numbing adventure, I should point out that if you drank a whole bunch of coffee like Psycho did, you wouldn't get superpowers. The actual result would be more like this. Oh, my head. Feel dizzy. Gonna barf. Death would be a blessing. I think I made my point. Cue the narrator. When we left, Jim, Peter, and the entire Galactic Heroes League were waiting for some evil to fight. Like I said, some evil will be along any minute now. Okay, evil guys, I hyper psycho shall destroy, 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 destroy you all. Voices, <laughs> people. Let's make some magic. Come and get me. I'll take his all on. All I. I shall destroy this land with my awesome flying toupee. No, I shall obliterate him with my mighty coffers. No, I shall stuff him into my indomitable stretchy cheeks. I'll be okay in a minute. <laughs> Ah, 
I'll be okay in a minute. That could have gone better. Bunch of young punks. I was a drain. Must have more coffee. Quick, while he's refueling. Now's our chance to retreat. You're telling me this? I invented retreating, you young punk. And so our heroes rocket off to the perfect hiding place. The old superhero's home. Sorry? The elderly. No, the senior. All right, fine. The chronologically gifted superhero's home. Can we please move on before they come up with a new euphemism? Can't say anything fun these days, can you? A framed letter from President Truman. Thank you for your kind offer to end World War II, but we have a bomb we want to try out. Yeah, uh, Truman, what a yes. I know how we can defeat Psycho. We'll overload him with coffee, and he'll go up in a fantastic explosion of nervous energy. Ah, oh, you kids today, always with the coffee. I invented explosions, I invented nervous, I invented energy. You couldn't come up with a decent plan in a month of Sundays, you noseless, knee-biting, weird smelling young punk! Say, Mr. Dynamo, maybe you can come up with a plan. <laughs> Stymied, are you? Well, I suppose I could come out of retirement to help you poor dumb schmoes. Okay, here's the plan. We'll overload him with coffee and he'll go up in a fantastic explosion of nervous energy. Let's go! Um, isn't that what I just said? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I said it with style, you punk. Later, at the Museum of Oversized Versions of Household Objects, coffee's ready. No, we just need Psychro. I called his secretary. She said he can squeeze us in. Right about now. Go get in a costume, Fuzz Buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find Jim. This time, 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 you shall not escape, escape, escape. Aren't you going to remove your helmet in the presence of a lady? A lady? Okay, okay, a dog in a dress. Just take off your helmet, pinhead! Eat dirt, hyperkinetic scoundrel! <laughs> Eat dirt? What kind of catchphrase is that, you stupid young punk? Well, I'm a worm, you see, and... Hey, 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 don't bust my chops. I invented catchphrases. I invented worms. <laughs> Look, the caffeine is starting to kick in. And three, two, one. Wow, Pusey, that worked great. Of course it did. I invented victory. I invented triumph. I invented invention! Uh, guys? Unfortunately for our heroes, the coffee transforms Cypro into a being of pure nervous energy. Hyper! Hyper Cypro! <laughs> Such power, power, power! More than enough to destroy you filthy superheroes! I invented cliffhangers. Give, Give it, it a, a rest. rest. I must not fear. Fears the mind killer. Fears the little death that brings total oblivion. What's that muttering about? Oh, he's just going to turn into a monster and maul us. Kind of a drawback and a sidekick, you know. You get used to it. Destroy it! Luckily, Peter's savage attack exposes the one thing which could distract Psycho. The world's largest ball of tin foil. Hey, where's the Puce Dynamo? Sorry about that. Eating your elders, no respect here! Oy. Okay, while Psycho is distracted by the shiny object, we'll have a moment to come up with a plan. 
Young punk, I'll handle this. We'll fight fire with fire. After your last plan, I think I'm justified in saying, Stuff it! I, a good sidekick, will now refrain from pointing out that Jim came up with the exact same plan. Anyway, you fight fire with water, you old goon! Peter, do you happen to have an aromatherapy kit on you? By a mind-boggling coincidence, yes. Mangoes and oatmeal, the perfect combination of relaxing scents. How can you use aromatherapy if you haven't got a nose? Don't question me. Jim somehow uses aromatherapy to become a being of pure relaxation energy. Super mellow Jim. Hey, man. Groovy. Kids today with their long hair and hippie clothes. Oh, shiny. So shiny. Sad. Yeah. You gonna try to take me on? Take me on? Yeah, yeah. Eat. Dirt. Hurry up, man. Come on, come on, come on. But when the forces of nervous energy and relaxation energy come together, the result is the destruction of the entire universe! Good going, Ace! Let's just acknowledge that I made a mistake and move on. Move on? How can we move on? The entire universe is destroyed! Oh, come on. There must be something left. Oh, yeah. I bet someone thought that was real funny. Fear not, Jim, for it is I. <gasps> it's the great worm spirit! Hey, he looks different. Well, have you seen the great worm spirit before? He saved my life in the Nam, man. It was the Mekong Delta Sea. Charlie was moving in hard and fast. Grunts were getting shot to pieces all around. He was a nightmare, man, a screaming nightmare. Then the great worm spirit pulled me into a foxhole. I'll never forget it, man. Not till my dying day, man. You're right. He does look different. I have many forms. Would you prefer a humorous TV weatherman, a plate of cold beans, or perhaps my true form? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Cold beans! Cold beans! No, TV Weatherman! TV Weatherman! My form matters not. Um, what is your form anyway? Am I supposed to recognize you? I am your creator. Just look. See? But all this is trivial. What is important is that we recreate the universe. Is that possible? The pattern of the universe still exists within your minds. If we all work together, we may be able to remake it just as it was. Now concentrate. 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 He's making faces at me! I'm not! And knock it off, you snot weasels! Concentrate. Concentrate. And so the Big Bang happens anew. The universe is recreated. Billions of years pass in seconds. The Earth is born again. It is done. The universe is just as it was before all this happened. Except that for some reason, the main character in Death of a Salesman is now called Urkel. This I do not understand. Now, I shall return you to where you were before this chain of events began. Only you two will remember what has transpired. Thanks for everything, Great Worm Spirit. You are welcome, Jim. By the way, I caught your stand-up act. Don't quit your day job, all right? You guys are sore! You're nothing but a bunch of young punks in tights! Uh, shut up, you old goon! Who's up for poker? Yeah!
Is that perfectly clear, Psychro? Uh, is uh, what perfectly clear? That if you don't bring me Jim's suit, I will chop you into bits. Right. Uh, I don't suppose you change your mind if I explain that this will ultimately lead to the end of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> I thought not. Oh, well, here we go again! Hold it! You are not doing a here we go again ending on my show! Well, what kind of ending do you want, Mr. Too Good for Standard Cheesy Cartoon Endings? What do you think? The cow thing? And... Cue the cow! <laughs> Duh! Ruby!